the Southeast Mouthpiece, coming from your mother's bedroom, weighing in at 175 pounds, Cornelius Pepperbottom. Ooh, what a interesting reception here from this crowd. Now, this is our first show here for Championship District Wrestling, but a lot of this crowd uh, is familiar with Cornelius Pepperbottom, of course, one third of exotic youth, and uh, not giving him the greatest of receptions. Well, he's not exactly earned their respect in his experience throughout the Southeast and all of pro wrestling. He is, a, as he calls himself, the mouthpiece of the Southeast, and trust me, he might be small in stature, but he's got a very big mouth. What do you mean, no respect? They won Best Tag Team of the Year. Come on, that's respectful. Put some respect on this man's name. Well, they won that from their fellow wrestlers. But, but, and, and he likes you, apparently. They won it from their fellow wrestlers, but, but not from the fans. It's not exactly fan friendly. He doesn't need the fans to be violent, to be brutal, to take what he wants. He's going to have his hands full here with his opponent. Oh, this guy. You heard our uh, ring announcer Lerman there say it. The real deal, Teriyaki making his way into the building. And of course, a fan favorite already. Absolutely, he's really been all over the place. And I remember seeing him right there training at the Nightmare Factory, an amazing prospect. And he's been all over the place in this first year in the business for him. Yeah, I, I, I trained with this guy at the WWA 4, and I think he's getting too big of a head. He needs to be shut down. There you go. Are you ready? Are you ready to this? Let's do it. Bring the bell. In case you didn't hear, Yaki had put up money in this match. By the way, I guess Lerman's going to be an official as well. He's calling for the bell. <laughs> but our official also called for the bell. So here we go. You're right, uh, uh, Specter. Terry Yaki put up $500 to anyone in the gauntlet match later on tonight, the Diamond Championship gauntlet, to anybody to face him. And if he wins, he gets their spot in the gauntlet. And I would have gone after it. But they paid me to be here instead. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, I, I, I could use the money right now. You're jack, jack of all trades. But I'm okay with Cornelius. Show him what's up because he needs to learn that he can't just oh. soar like he does. Oh. Now, look at there. You see Teriyaki going for the trip. You see guys go for the trip all the time. And a lot of times it doesn't connect. That time it did connect. And now into the side headlock goes Teriyaki. Absolutely. Pepper Bottom gets him to the ropes. Oh, and nice dodge. Dodge the shoulder block. Look at this. Went for the trip again, but Cornelius Pepper Bottom. Or Pepperbottom avoided it. Now the head scissors there takes him down. Great hurt can run it there for Teriyaki. This is so intriguing to see Pepperbottom in this particular space. Teriyaki is very used to being the quicker and smaller man in most of his matches, but already he has certainly the power advantage and maybe even the quickness advantage as well. Oh, he just got hung up on the top rope there by Pepperbottom. Yeah, you don't know what Pepperbottom is going to bring, though. Absolutely. He, he could come from anywhere. He certainly could, and Pepperbottom is accustomed to being outside of the ring. I think most people are used to him being the mouthpiece and not necessarily being the muscle, as he's proving to be oh, here in this match, and he certainly wants that $500. He oh, just yes. said Teriyaki face first right into the ring post there. Teriyaki felt every single bit of that. Absolutely, and remember, it is a 10 count here in Championship District Wrestling to get your opponent back in the ring. Uh, Pepperbottom has got Yaki in the ring. And again, really, however Pepperbottom, if he wins this match even by count out, it will certainly count to get him into the gauntlet match tonight. And the $500, don't forget that. And that $500. Pepperbottom here setting Teriyaki up for a suplex, perhaps, but Yaki prevents it. He's blocking it, going down to a knee. Great move there. Come on, Pepperbottom, get him! I tell you what, Teriyaki has really been all over the wrestling world. Uh oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. big suplex! Yaki, there. Yaki able to re reverse it there. Oh, come on, Pepperbottom, what are you doing? We've seen Teriyaki in all sorts of places in action and battle slam and battle club club. But look at, and it's moves like that that has brought him here. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. What a back elbow there from the real deal Teriyaki. Now skinning the cat up to his feet. Oh, the agility of Teriyaki. This is where I've been with Wait, wait a second. Where are you going? Specter here, our third, third member of the commentary booth. He's has left the, has, has Teriyaki just laid him out. Pepperbottom with Oh, a two count there for Teriyaki. Now, for the record, we don't tend to get involved in these kinds of matches, but uh, Specter, what, what, what I'm tired of you? seeing this. This is, oh, this is something. What, what's happening here? What is he doing? What, where is Specter going? 
Spectre just left the booth here, now getting him in the ring apron. What is he doing? Oh, quick roll up here for Pepperbottom. There we go. Two, one. Wait, no way. Wait a minute. Now, come on. Now, come on. Why is Spectre helping out Pepperbottom there? And now Pepperbottom got the victory over Teriyaki. Now Spectre getting in the ring and getting in the Wait a second. And now it seems as though Spectre and Pepperbottom are working together. Whoa. Now this double teaming Teriyaki as he threw the referee out of the way. And Spectre could get fined already for throwing the referee out. I mean, you're not supposed to have contact with the referee at this point. Meanwhile, this is a crazy double team happening. We Spectre. Uh-oh, look out. No, 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 no. Oh! Cradle oh, Pile Driver. Planted him squarely on his head right there in the center of the ring. We I had no idea Spectre was going to leave the booth. We've been sharing the booth all day with this guy. We had preparation for tonight, and I had no idea this was in, in, in store. No, in store, I didn't even know he was an active wrestler to get in the ring like this. And so what is it? Oh! Wait a minute! And a super kick there from Pepperbottom just took out Spectre. Well, I guess Pepperbottom is the only one who wants that money and that spot in the gauntlet match. And there it is. He says it's my money. So, so what? Specter, I guess, was hoping he could get part of the, the five hundred dollars. Well, yeah, you heard him here this on is commentary. Dang title! Wow. Well, Specter is the one who said that he wanted to be in there for the five hundred dollars, but decided to get paid here. I guess he wanted a double paycheck. What a turn of events here for this pre-show. It's not over yet.